There's a fourth step. It's a step of repentance. And we find it in verses 12 through 15. Restore to me the joy of your salvation and uphold me by your generous spirit. Spirit, Then I will teach transgressors your ways and sinners shall be converted to you. Deliver me from the guilt of bloodshed, O God, the God of my salvation, and my tongue shall sing aloud of your righteousness. O Lord, open my lips and my mouth shall show forth your praise. Once we are forgiven, we are free then to go out and do anything we want to do, right? No. A forgiven person is a grateful person. And a grateful person is a person who serves the one who's forgiven. Them. A grateful person doesn't walk away and say, well, I appreciate that. Maybe I'll see you again sometime. A grateful person accepts the forgiveness that's given to them, but continues to let that forgiver know that they love them, that they appreciate them, that they want to live for them and serve them. Forgiveness is free, but a true Christian is a person who believes that forgiveness is not a license to go out and do anything we want to do knowing that we can always get forgiveness for it. Paul spoke uh, against that quite a bit. The contrary is true. A true Christian is a person who realizes that they don't deserve forgiveness and they owe their life to the one who's forgiven them, the Lord Jesus. That's a truly repentant person. Someone who, who not only accepts the forgiveness but changes as a result, repentance, that word is simply defined as to stop, to turn around and go the other way. Stop whatever it is that you're doing that's taking you away from God. Turn around and serve God. Go to Him. We must turn to a life of active service for God. We must, be, we must make Him first on our list of priorities. He has to be at the top. And any time we make him less than number one, we've turned away from serving him and began to serve self. 